I am David Condon, number 22 for Great Britain. Great. I'm um, talking to David Condon, a uh, GB player, about his stick, how he sets it up, uh, length of it, size of it, ball, etc, etc. So, um, David, give us a look at your stick. Let's just see what you've got here. So there it is, Gray's, Gray's Jumbo Stick. So I've got a GR5000, so this is one of the new, the new range. So they've basically bought out a whole new range. So this is the, an upgrade from the GX5000 that I used to use. So Jumbo is basically a, it's a bit of a low bow, but it's not quite as much as the new Pro Bow. Um, just a normal, I just have the normal grip under here with just a chamois over the top, then taped up. I'd like to have the tape quite low, because obviously with your bottom hand, it's basically where the skills and your grip your stick. Um, that's about it really, just got a bit of tape here for, uh, for stick stopping on corners, just to stop the, the spin. But I don't like to have it too low, because I just like to have the normal. Okay. Stick, that's about yeah, it, just really. have a borrow yeah. that for a second. I just want to show this to the camera, um, so just so we can see the actual ball. I'll just bring that around. The people at home can get a good look at that. And the end. See how that is actually taped. And there we have it. No way around. So that's it. So that's yeah. great. Okay. Now this. Um, chamois, Do you have any trouble with that? Or does that stay? Um, do you have to secure it with anything? Well, you have to obviously. So. You, Bind it up, tape it on it. It's not. It's basically just this sort of Shamtech leather, so it doesn't actually stick to your grip. So you've got to do it. You've got to do it quite tightly, and then you just secure every it. game. Or uh, not every every couple of weeks, I say. The amount that we so we train in every day and playing most days. Yeah. You do get through them quite quickly, but for for an average player, you'd probably get six months use out of it. Probably. Absolutely. But we're talking every month or so. We have to change it because and um, the more it rains, the more wear it takes, and it tends to get a bit slippery. So. Okay, um, what's the weight of this stick, do you know? So, this stick's approximately, I think it's 515, I think it is, so 515 grams, with a balance point of 39. So that's one of the things we sort of ask for when we get our stick sent to us. Why is the balance point so important for you? Well, so, well, balance point, basically, the lower it is, the easier, the harder you can hit the ball, so it's just personal preference. It's, there's no right or wrong to weight or balance. Yeah. It's just a case of trial and error. And through the years of experience, you can sort of get a gauge of do you prefer higher balance points? So 39 is actually quite high, yeah. so it's quite high up the stick. So actually, it's more inclined for skills rather than hitting. Okay. And that's just, and then weight is just preference. Uh, so you have some boys that love a heavy stick, yeah. so they can just smash the ball through, and then some boys with a lighter stick for more midfield sort of skills sort of stuff. So. With a low bow, when you're yep. hitting, do you find you have to hit more off the back foot to keep the ball low, or you don't have to hit off your back foot as necessarily, but you have to if you're going to hit down like down, well, yeah, squeeze shot. Yeah, basically yeah. you have to bring your hands forward because obviously the bow brings your yeah, stick back, ball, so you yeah. don't want to lift. But if you're hitting just normally, it tends to be instead of a generic up down, we tend to hit more around. Yeah, and then you have your hands a little bit forward, so actually when you're contacting it with the the face of your stick. It's actually creating the flat. So if you see, if you hold it straight and you hit the ball like that, the bow is going to mean it's going to lift up. Okay. Whereas if you hold your hands a little bit more forward, the face of the stick is flat against the, the ball. ball flat, it's the flat. Ball. I'm just going to. So, you just stand. Yeah, that's okay. You don't actually have to talk. I just want to see the hands there. So is that your hitting position? You just look further up the stick now than you were before. Well, yeah, I did that. Okay. Okay. So just lift back, back again slowly, and then as though you're going to hit the ball again. That's it. But you're, again, you're more towards the top of the stick there. For, before you were about hands length. Well, that's good. I was trying to do a demo for show, so I could show. Oh, the I camera. see. That's all right. Yeah. No, it tends to be like sort of three quarters of the way up the stick. So that's your normal yes. hitting position for your hands, yeah. right there, right now. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. Is that? Have you been? Have you been with Grays for a long time, or? Yes, yeah, so the last six years I've been with Grays. Okay. And so the, the basically, my whole career, I've been with Grays. That, so, that ball, have you always had that ball or have you changed your No, time? so I did have a straighter, a straighter stick when I first started out, but just with the, the way the game's going and the speed of the game and the skills that are now yeah. developing, yeah. the, the bow just gives you the extra bit of 3D skill when you're a bit tired. Yeah. You don't have to quite get as slow and stuff like that. It's just a bit, it just makes it a bit easier and harder to basically defend against. Yeah. So it's just one of those things. I yeah. totally agree with it. Yeah, yeah you'll need a, an even bigger ball as you get older. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks, David.